Hello guys, this is Satvik and in this video we will be discussing about password spraying. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect with me personally, you can check out my Twitter. And if you want to be part of this channel's community, you can check out this channel related Discord server. All the links are in the description below. And also, if you do end up liking this video, make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this sort of stuff. So now coming to this, so what is password spraying? So password spraying is an attack in which you try to spray a single password on all the user uh, usernames or accounts possible. So take a scenario where you are doing some sort of a pen test or you are invited to the company to do the pen testing there itself. Okay, like which involves some physical pen testing as well. So where let us assume that you are able to see some sort of uh, HTTP notes or something where the password is written, but you don't know what the username is. So password spraying to put it simple. So you guess or you may have a single password and you try to uh, spray the password on the all the accounts that you have. So that is simple. That is how the password spraying works. So here, if you take the example, uh, I'm going to take Ovas Juice Shop, and you can find it by simply typing Juice Shop Ovas in the internet, and you'll get you can get the first link, or, or else I'll share the link with you guys. No issues. So you can see that this is uh, a normal website, an e-commerce based website, which is related to food. So here, uh, like first step uh, in uh, password spraying is like you need to get a password. So for example, I was able to find out a password, which is something like this password at the rate one, two, three. Okay. So uh, assume it may, it may be a guess. It may be some sort of like I was able to see into some sticky notes. I don't know. I got it somehow. And the next step is always going to be to collect the username. So if you followed my previous video where I shown you uh, how to create usernames uh, using a tool called as namemesh.py. So like in the CDF format that is going to be useful, but uh, sometimes you can simply go through these uh, here. You can go through this uh, product. If you click on reviews, you can see these are some possible usernames. Okay, so you can collect all of them like you can go through all of them and you can uh, collect all those interesting stuff and that is it. Okay, so that is how you basically collect and if you don't know like if you're in a CTF format and you may require a username there. So I leave the link for the video or it is my recent video. You can do check that out. Okay, so from that like we got the two steps. So I collected the password. So the password here is like password one, two, three, but it can be anything. So it can be related to season. It can be related to the company name like solar winds at the rate 2021. You all know right solar winds got hacked because of an intern using a simple password so like you can try to guess those password like it may be a what you say the password spraying is also like a hit or go sometimes if you're really lucky enough you can get into that but uh, if you're not lucky enough like if you're not able to guess it or if you're not able to find any leads then it is going to be used as for you okay but as we are in pen test or in a ctf like you shouldn't uh neglect any point of view you don't know right you may get a password there like when you're doing a ctf you may get some password some word look like a password and you can try to uh, uh, like spray that and also like i collected few uh, accounts so these are the few accounts and that is it so this is my account so i created one personally for this thing and also i am going to use a uh, burp suit so you can see this is burp suit professional version so if you have it, it also works on community version it's fine and also like uh, you can also follow along with other tools. So I'll uh, mention about that at the end of the video. So first of all, let's open this. Uh, uh, let's go to the login page. So this is the login page. So you have some functionality like let's test. So admin uh, password. Let's see what happens here. Okay. I'm just using some admin password. It's showing me invalid email or password. So this is the thing that I'm getting over here. So I'm going to turn on my proxy. So if you don't know, uh, if you want to know more about the burp suit, so I already made a detailed playlist as well as the course, which is available on Udemy. So I leave the link for those as well in the description below. You can do check that out. So I'm just turning on the burp over here. Okay. So simple. And I'm going back to my burp suit, uh, under the proxy. I'm just, uh, turning on the intercept. So intercept is already on. Okay, so now I'm going to mention some sort of like same. I'm going to send the same request. I'm going to hit login and uh, you can see uh, let's forward some of those. Yeah, you can you can you need to forward in such a way that you can see the 
things that you mentioned so uh, here i entered email and uh, password so these are the stuff that i mentioned so i'm going to just use a component called as intruder so intruder main aim is like to brute force okay so simple so brute forcing in the sense like you shouldn't say brute forcing it's for fuzzing so intruder main purpose is for fuzzing okay so i'm just going to clear out everything and i'm just going to put the password as password uh, at the rate one two three which we go which we collected okay so this is how it is okay so if you i'm going just going to recall so we found a pass pa password called as password one two three and we got some couple of usernames so that is it and uh, password since it is fixed right you don't need to add any parameter you need to only add parameter for this email thing so click on add and now go to the payloads okay so just copy all this stuff or like if you're having more number of uh, what you say usernames or so like just uh, you can load the file as well okay so anything is fine okay so you have the payload processing you can uh, disable this url encoding if you want to in the options like uh, just click on clear okay so there is something called as grep match so once you send a response right it will grep for some sort of stuff so i'm going to hit clear okay and if you go back to here you can see invalid so there is a term called as invalid so so you can add that okay it's it's fine okay click on add it's fine or else you can add the whole string as well it's fine like i personally like to add a single word or something which is unique okay or sometimes you can even add the, you can copy this whole sentence and you can uh, put it over there it is going to work fine okay just put it and click on add okay so it is going to show up over here and the next step here is like once you set up everything so you have like threads and everything number of threads five is fine i don't need it like super fast or some sort of stuff like basic minimal thread count is fine for me so i'm going to do that so that is it so let's let's hit on start attack okay just open the new tab so you can see that uh here how you can do is like you can see the status code you can first go through the status codes like how to uh this is the step like how you can validate the like the credentials or some sort of stuff you can see the status code like most of the errors you get right you can see a status code of 401 or 3g redirection or some sort of stuff and the one more thing is like you can even see the uh grep that uh the string that we mentioned you can see invalid so for all this stuff it is showing invalid and the next one is the length so length is nothing this length is the length of the response that you are getting so here it is like invalid username and password something like that and you can see the first payload is going to be like a a blank payload right uh, like it's going to send the same payload like admin we mentioned like admin password at the rate 123 right it's showing, going to send the same and it is going to get the invalid like you can check others like you can check the responses as well like invalid email and the password simple now let's go to this account so satvik at the rate test.com and the password is password at the rate 123 so you can see that uh, this is the email and this is the password okay and going to the response you can see it is the authenticated okay it is pretty much authenticated so now what you can do basically is like uh, you can just go to like uh, satvik at the rate test.com like you got a valid credentials okay so this is like as i told you right guys like you can see you are logged in if you go to the account you can see satvik at the rate test.com so this is how you basically do this uh, password spraying attack so password spraying attack like they it has some sort of uh, importance like people guess like in the pen testing field they guess it so guessing is always an optional so you may not guess it all the time but if you are in a ctf perspective so there may be some sort of hints like i've seen sometime a password uh, showing up in the comments in the word like if it is running on web like it may be in some sort of note uh, which may be in smb or ftp so like you can find it and then you can do a password spraying attack like this and it is going to work fine so you may have me doubt like satvik uh, you done everything on windows so can i do this on um, uh, linux any other linux or sort of stuff yes you can do it uh, and also burp is not only the tool that you can use so i also have i also made a video on a tool called as hydra so hydra is a command line tool so it is also simple so you don't need to brute force you don't need to provide a list for uh, what you say for the password field you, need, you only need to provide the list for the username field and uh, there uh, this high this burp suit has only the functionality of like what you can say like only web but hydra you have like ftp ssh smb like you have many services that you can do an attack on uh this password spraying attack on 
so that being said like if you guys really wanted me to make video on that like how you can use hydra to perform this password spraying attack do let me know in the comments and that is it guys for this video so like if you want to learn more about this bob suit i already made a detailed video a detailed video series on that and also a course both are similar so no need to worry uh that is it guys uh, really thank you for watching till the end this is satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next video thank you